This is the SanDisk Extreme Pro SD UHS-2 USB-C reader, and this is the ProGrade Digital. The main benefit of this one is, of course, that it uses compact flash cards as well, so you can do SD or compact flash. It also has USB-C and USB-A, so you can plug in with either one. This one is only USB-C, but of course you can get an adapter if you want to use that. I have two cards here. This is a 95 megabyte per second card. This is the old UHS-1 card. This is a UHS-2 SanDisk Extreme Pro 300 megabyte per second card. Okay, so there is the SanDisk, nice small package, so that's gonna be good if you're gonna be throwing this thing in your bag. And here is the ProGrade. Oh, that's actually magnetic. That's kind of cool. Wow, I did not expect that. That's actually kind of cool, so you can just throw this thing right on the side of your computer case. So you can see the relative size. You can see that the SanDisk is a little smaller and it has a cable permanently attached. The ProGrade is a little bit larger, but it's not really that much larger. So you have our two SD card slots, and then the ProGrade also has the CF Express B-Type card right here. We got two LEDs here on the front on the ProGrade, and on the SanDisk it is an LED on the top. On the back of the ProGrade, we got our USB-C port here. And then you got your choice of cables, so we got USB-A to USB-C, and we got USB-C to USB-C. I'm going to start out by using the UHS-2 card in the ProGrade reader. So we can see we do have a yellow light when it is powered on, and let's go ahead and start testing. And it is flashing, so we know that it is actually doing something. Okay, so we are running at just under 300 megabytes per second for the read and about 240 megabytes per second for the write. So this is not surprising to me. The 95 megabyte per second card ran at about 70 megabytes per second when you're actually testing it. So the 300 megabyte per second card is actually reading at 284 megabytes per second on the sequential one meg at eight processes, one thread. And for the random 4K, one process, one thread is reading at 8.7 megabytes per second. So nothing out of the ordinary here. Most of the stuff that you're gonna be doing is gonna be at the megabytes you know, or above megabytes. So this is probably gonna be closer to what you're gonna be actually seeing. For writing, it's actually a little bit slower than I was hoping for. We're getting 241 megabytes per second and 2.5 megabytes per second at the random 4K one process one thread. The writing is definitely not 300 megabytes per second. Let's see if the other reader makes a difference there. So there is definitely a difference in the length of the cord. I don't know how much of a, a big deal that is for me in particular, but this one is about a foot and a half. And this one's only a few inches. All right, you can see the LED is lighting up white on top and we'll start over. And we can see that the LED is blinking, so we can't tell that this thing is in use. All right, so on the left, I got the ProGrade. On the right, I got the SanDisk. So we were getting 284 on the ProGrade. We're getting 249 on the SanDisk. Now, this is under perfect conditions. And as the files themselves are going to vary in their complexity, there's also going to be a variation in the speed. So this is not perfect, but this is going to tell you what the maximum that we can get out of this card. We are actually getting a little bit faster on the random 4K one process, one thread on the SanDisk than we were on the ProGrade. Again, that we're probably never going to actually use that because anything we're putting on these cards, especially if we're running from a camera, is going to be in the megabyte size. The writing is a little bit slower. Now again, that's not going to be a big deal on account of we're not going to be writing files to that SD card from these readers very often. So I don't think we should. Anytime we're writing to that card, it's probably going to be from the camera. Now maybe you're using the SD card for actually writing. And if you are, then you are going to be getting a little bit faster with the ProGrade. And we're looking at just under 20 megabytes per second write. So what this means for me, what I'm going to be using this for is going to be for copying files from the SD card to my computer. And if I was using the ProGrade and I had that card completely full, so if I had 128 gigabytes, we'll say, divided by 284 megabytes per second divided by 60 seconds. It would take about seven and a half minutes to write the entirety of that card to my hard drive, providing the hard drive could read that fast, which it probably should be able to. And if I was using the SanDisk divided by 249 megabytes per second divided by 60 seconds, it would take about 8.5. So there is a one minute difference at the maximum speed. So it's not really that big of a deal unless it's that big of a deal. If you want the absolute best, then the ProGrade is still the way to go. So yes, time is money, but also the SanDisk is a little smaller. The ProGrade does also read compact flashcards, and the SanDisk is cheaper. So you have to, you know, argue that out with yourself. Now the next thing I want to know is, does it make a difference if I'm using a UHS-1 card with the UHS-2 reader? So this is a very old card. This is not the 170 megabyte per second card that everybody's used to. This is a 95 megabyte per second card. This is about 10 years old. Now this... <laughs> Right away, we're reading at 96 megabytes per second, so that is in fact faster even with the SanDisk card reader than my old UHS-1 card reader. So yes, UHS-2 does make a difference. 
Okay, so we are reading 96 megabytes per second on the read, and we're reading about 88 megabytes per second on the write. And then for the RAM 4K, one process, one thread, it's about 7.53 and 2.46. So this is maxed out. The only bottleneck here is the card. So the SanDisk Extreme Pro UHS-2 card reader is definitely a good buy, even if you're going to buy a UHS-1 card, because this is going to max out what that card is capable of. If I was going to only buy one, I would probably buy this for a UHS-1 card. So now I want to test that same thing on the ProGrade reader and see if that makes a difference. Okay, so this is actually kind of mind-boggling to me. So this actually does read a little bit faster than the SanDisk. I don't know how, but it's actually reading about 97.51 megabytes per second, which means it's about 2.5 megabytes per second faster than what card is even rated for. And that's about one megabyte per second faster than the SanDisk. So let me pull that one up. So we can see that most of these numbers are pretty close. It's actually a little bit faster on the right by about half a megabyte. So this is not really anything that I'm going to look at and say this is definitively faster. But the fact of the matter is it is just a tiny bit faster reading on the Grade. Even at the random 4K at the 32 process one thread, it's about one megabyte faster and the same thing on the random 4K one process one thread. So yeah, I mean, it is a little bit faster. So here's our final numbers. I got the SanDisk on the left and I got the ProGrade on the right. Same cards. This is the 95 megabyte per second card. This is the 300 megabyte per second card. So it's a little bit faster on the ProGrade. So what this leaves me with is if I was going to get something for a UHS-1 card and I wanted the absolute best throughput that I could get for a UHS-1 card, I would get the SanDisk just because it's cheaper. But if I was going to be using UHS-2 cards, then I could get either one of these. This would be perfectly fine. But if I wanted the absolute best I could get, the ProGrade still is the best that you can possibly get. And with the fact that it can also read Compact Flash Express cards, that really just makes this the best overall professional card reader that you can get.